In a previous video, the ESP8266 microcontroller was interfaced with basic I.O. peripherals. In this video, the ESP8266 will be used as a web server with DHT11 temperature humidity sensor as input. A block diagram of the ESP8266 as a web server is shown here. We have the uh, microcontroller communicating with the router and the router communicates with the web through an IP address. The communication is bidirectional. In this video we have a DHT11 sensor which is giving the temperature and humidity values to the microcontroller which then sends this information through the router to the web and we can access the temperature and humidity values through an IP address on the web browser. We start with this first example where we want to interface the microcontroller with the DHT11 sensor. So we need to include this header file related to the DHT sensor. And then through this statement we are connecting the sensor to digital pin D4 of the controller. Within the setup function we initialize the sensor and in the loop function we get the temperature reading in Celsius and then the reading in Fahrenheit and then we get the humidity in percentage and then we send this information to the serial monitor. Now we run the code and observe the output on the serial monitor. This next code shows us how to connect the ESP8266 with Wi-Fi. We need to include this header file so that we can talk to the router and connect through Wi-Fi. And through these two statements, we are creating two string pointers that will store the Wi-Fi uh, network name and the password. And inside the setup function, we will begin by connecting uh, to the router through Wi-Fi by providing the SSID and the password and through this while uh, loop we will check whether we have connection and once the connection is done on the serial monitor we indicate that the Wi-Fi is connected. And now let's run the code and see how the microcontroller connects with Wi-Fi. As you can see, Wi-Fi connection is established and a local IP address has been provided. This last program connects the ESP8266 as a web server with the DHT sensor providing the input data. The program was written by Mike Barella for Adafruit Industries and a link to the code will be provided. In this demonstration, I will just run the code and see how the results appear on the web browser. A detailed explanation of this code will be provided in a future video. On the serial monitor, the program first establishes a connection with the router and provides the IP address. Next, we copy the IP address and paste it on a web browser. On the root directory, we see the main title, and we can also go to two subdirectories, one for the temperature and one for the humidity. To update the sensor readings, we need to refresh the browser. And now I'll intentionally apply heat and humidity to the sensor to see the impact on the readings on the web pages.
You could also use the ESP8266 for IoT and web server applications by utilizing online web services such as Dweet.io and Ares.io or use a mobile app such as Blink.